I'm in love, but not with a person. Well, with people, I am in love. I have a wife and a kid and a family and one animal, a dog. Uh, but I'm in love with an inanimate object. And yes, it's a microphone. And at the risk of sounding hyperbolic, it's the greatest microphone in the history of microphones. Is that too much? Should walk it back a little bit? It's a very great microphone I've been pleased with, especially since it costs $40. If I were Oprah, I would put this microphone in my Greatest Things package at the end of the year, and all the ladies in the audience would be like, what the f*** is this f***ing I didn't want a f***ing microphone. I want a year's supply of wet naps from the Honest Company. What am I going to do with a f***ing microphone? That's what they would do. This is the Samson Go mic. Look how tiny it is. It is for travel, but you need not be traveling when you use it. Here's a shot of me using it while traveling. I'm overseas in England. This shot alone cost $2,300. I'm very jet lagged and I'm pretty sure I got sick from the plane, like I have a cold. So let's keep things in perspective, right? Well, here I am at home using it, see? You can use it wherever you like. Now for comparison's sake, here is the craptastic audio straight from my camera. See, it sounds pretty bad. Well, here's the audio, non-craptastic I may add, from the Samson Go. This is a plug-and-play USB microphone with three main settings. There's the cardioid setting, which is basically front firing, so good for video work like I do, video chatting, and one-person podcasting. Then there's a setting that cuts the mic level 10 decibels in case you have trouble controlling the volume of your voice! Finally, there's the omnidirectional setting, which will capture 360-degree sound, good for two-person podcasting or perhaps a folk duet. And on the other side, there's a handy headphone jack that you can use to monitor yourself as you're talking. I've used a fair number of microphones over the years, many of which have plugged directly into the camera, and none have been great, including this several hundred dollar wireless system, which is ironically also by Samson. However, for most of these TechCrunch videos, I've been using the Yeti from Blue Microphones. Never forgetty about the Yeti. It's incredible. It will not make you upset. -y. However, it's expensive at 130 bucks, and it is a heavy, awkward, blunt object that would be great to have in a bar brawl, but is not fun to tote back and forth to work. And for travel, forget it. There's no way. Forgetty. I'll be honest with you, this Samsung Go, for my needs, is almost imperceptible up against the Yeti. I know the Yeti has a bunch of additional features and would probably win several lab tests or whatever, but the convenience and cost of the Samsung mic has made it my go-to mic. My Yeti is, however, sitting on my desk at my big boy job, so I still use it to make videos there. It's a great mic. Here's a clip of me talking into the Yeti in one of my other videos. Even after licking it repeatedly in public with people watching and wondering, I still wouldn't trust it completely. And here's me, of course, talking into the Samsung Go. See? Pretty close. And this thing clips to the side of my laptop and only costs $40 and fits in my pocket for travel. Definitely, definitely worth a closer look. Whether you'll be in Oprah's audience for her, her favorite thing show, or you just need it to do this type of work like I do. Is Oprah still alive? Does she do the favorite thing still? I gotta, I gotta be more careful. Last I heard she started a TV network and then no one ever saw her again, which is weird because her show is on TV. It's spooky. You gotta be careful. She's powerful, she'll come after you. Yeah.